thing on? Are we okay. on? Okay, cool. This thing on? This thing on? <laughs> hey, this is Annie and Nikki coming from the Mama Va headquarters hey. here for our bi-weekly pumpcast. Yeah. So, I'm Annie. I'm Nikki. And we're here from Mama Va, which has the mission of making breastfeeding more expensive accessible, more culturally accepted, and more uh, just lovely and wonderful yes. um, through so these moms. types of pods that we are sitting in right now, which mm -hmm. you'll find in a bunch of different public places. Airports, hospitals, stadiums, look and, for us. Yeah, and then also just talking weekly, bi-weekly, about what it's like to be a breastfeeding mom. Yeah. And we're yeah. talking about Earth Day. Happy birthday. Is it the bir Earth's birthday? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Earth. I'm going to make it so that's that You're God billion years old. It happened on April 22nd, a billion years ago. Okay. Um, so what we're talking about is how you can, in your decisions as a mom and with little babies, potentially make decisions that may be more healthy for the environment. And one company is doing exactly that mm -hmm. through the way that they develop their products. We love them and they love mothers. It's called Mother Love. And they develop skincare products for both babies and moms. And moms um, that they actually make like in essentially uh, in their backyards. Um, yeah, it's so amazing. They so have all super locally sourced, all organic. Right now, Nikki is showing you. We've got a nipple cream, a green salve. <laughs> that's what nipples are. <laughs> green salve, diaper balm. Do you want to show people where that would be applied? <laughs> and then um, birth and baby oil. So you know anywhere that you may need it. Yeah. Um, these are all crafted with certified organic herbs. They're free of synthetic or artificial ingredients. So super lovely. I know Nikki's used the nipple cream. I have. It's really great. And so if you want a chance to win, um, definitely kind of comment, connect with us. Um, let us know what you've done to change um, uh, the paradigm when you're a pregnant mom or um, you're bringing a baby into this world. What are you doing that's different for your body, um, uh, for the earth? Maybe, you know, and be conscious of your wallet at the same time. It's Sometimes yeah. it's hard to transition um, to organic products because it's uh, not as accessible um, from a financial standpoint to everybody. So we are going to talk about today just some tips and tricks that worked for us um, and knowing there's no right answer, there's no right choice, um, uh, but just some things that worked for us as we were thinking about like how do we celebrate our own bodies, um, how do we give the best of what we how do can. We Give presents to the earth on its birthday. That's what we're, that's what we're discussing today. Um, so what was one of the first things would you say that you like went organic on? Or what were you most concerned about when you were pregnant? So I feel like I kept, um, I don't know where I heard this, but your skin is your uh, biggest organ. And so I kept thinking about, okay, if I'm conscious about what I'm already putting into my body. So I know I'm like eating, I know the right things to eat organically, although we should talk about those. Um, but I really was thinking about my skin and I was like, and my hair and what I'm putting in my hair all the time and like what's getting into my body that could not be healthy for my baby in utero. Um, I was really big about um, not taking any um, any over-the-counter or prescription drugs like to the point of like being a lunatic so I, I recognize good self-awareness on that like I wouldn't put us I like basically had an abscess tooth where I was at the dentist and they were like this is so bad you need to take Tylenol and I'm like over oh, my dead body I will live in this pain but like you know we all choose that make different choices yeah right now my skin yeah your skin was so the I did like change. deodorant. I changed deodorant first. So that's actually the so it is like to be conscious about your wallet. If you were going to try and switch everything out to organic, it would be insanely expensive. Um, and what we need to be clear on is that <laughs> sorry, we have, we have people <laughs> made a little loud in the kitchen. <laughs> we're right in the we're right now. Um, a couple of the things that they when I was speaking to actually an awesome store that does all organic stuff. Um, they said that the two top things to change out are your deodorant because mm. deodorant is goes right into a bloodstream, so that's right like close right to your, in your boobs. Armpits, it's next to your right boob your boobs, and then um, <laughs> the also that um, chapstick. Oh. Like try and buy an organic because those are the two things basically that go straight. You consume it by eating it off your lips, yeah, yeah. and then also in your bloodstream. So that's like an easy yes. two things to swap yeah. out. But you yeah. know, and wear less. You know, you yes. can just stink or you can just not stink shower. Maybe don't shower. 
Uh, Nikki judges me because I wash my hair like every three or four days. But guys, um, on the important, I always wash it on pump cast day. You're welcome, fans. Um, <laughs> so, on your eyes. But it looks great the other four days, too. But I just don't, you know, I don't shower as much. So that also means my showers are super quick. Yeah. Happy birthday, Earth. Um, that's one of my presents to you. And that was one big thing for me. But I have to say, like, again, Annie and Nikki were both at 11 months. Um, Nikki with her second baby, me with my first. That's coming right. at you from Mom of Us headquarters. So did you do some We have this oh. awesome giveaway of organic products. Yeah. Yeah. That we're talking about. Yeah. Um, Oh, the kind of deodorant that I used. You yep. first recommended one to me. Native. It's a really good so one. So Nick loves it. Native deodorant. You can order it online. Um, didn't work. I, I still stunk. And it felt, yeah, didn't work. So I like Schmitz. And that one worked. Yeah, that one worked. And they sell it at City Market. Oh, nice. So it's really easy to get at my local grocery store. Yes. Um, but the number one thing to me as a pregnant woman with, like, with eating, so there's a lot of stuff you can't eat. So I kept thinking I was making these, like, great organic decisions. So I would go and get, like, an all veggie sandwich and then I'd come back to work with this one and she'd be like, you know you're not supposed to eat sprouts when you're pregnant. Right? <laughs> I was like, oh, God. <laughs> I'm doing all of the right things, and yet it's still not safe. Um, so there's a, it's like not only do you have to so remember, like, okay, I want to try to eat more organic and all this stuff. It's also like then there's this list of 15 things yeah. you're not supposed to consume, yeah. and then post. I feel like there's still some, like you're still not supposed to have mercury heavy fish right. and things like that. Right. But there's a great list from what was it the Environmental Working Group yep. about kind of the dirty dozen and the clean 15. So those are. Ways that, and obviously everything on this list is also edible as a pregnant woman and what's or it, like, postpartum. Still eat an apple. It's better to eat an apple that's conventional than not to eat an apple at all. Right. So it's like all about. It's like, of course, you want to make healthy eating habits. You don't want to like be, you know. We should laugh and be like, our CEO brought in some Doritos uh, just five minutes ago. So we are, we definitely are aware that people make different choices with eating. For all of us, by the way, not just for herself. Yeah, no, it was a big bag. <laughs> but um, I wanted to ask you, for Avery specifically, when she was born, like, what were you thinking most consciously about? Um, the food you were intaking because that was going through your breast milk, or was it more specific to what you were putting on her, or both? Like, what was priority? Way more putting on her. Yeah. Um, I'm very much like I definitely think like your whatever you're gonna break down and obviously eradicating things that are just like not good, like yeah. drinking less and things yeah. like that. Yeah. But to me, you're so brain dead. Uh, especially for me, like the first two to six weeks of the amount that you're breastfeeding and how tired you are, the trying to be like, okay, I need to make these food. I was like, where the where's the cracker? Like, I yes. need to eat a bagel. I need to just get yeah, calories in. Yeah. So I was way less focused on like exactly what I was eating and just sure. needed to eat. Yep. And so it wasn't as focused on that. But then when it would come to Avery, yeah, like it was definitely, um, especially you know when it came to diapering, yes. like that's when I wanted it to be organic. Yes, that's so um, interesting. So I, like, more I, I would love to be on top of it enough to cloth diaper, but that just was never going to yeah. happen. So it was definitely like yeah. that's environmentally unfriendly. But then right. trying to get an organic product when I'm, you know, rubbing it on her nether regions. Right. I mean, for me, it's so funny. I was way more conscious as a pregnant mama of like her, her, her inside my body than when she came out. I was like, you're fine. It's like being filtered through the breast milk. Oh my and gosh, we have a dog and yeah. like they're, she licks Avery's face yeah. all the time. And I'm yeah. like, germs are good. I you know, know, like there's like yeah. aspects in that way where I'm like, rub it in. Like babies yeah. that have dogs are less likely to yeah. have allergies yeah. and like symptoms yeah. like that. Yeah. But like maybe your cleaning products can right. be, you, some people just do like vinegar or lemon water yes. and things like that yeah. so that you Which don't even have to spend more money right. on organic products you totally. can or like you know less toxic products but you can yeah. um you know home remedy them yeah and i think too um as you're thinking about the food that you're putting into your baby and now that we have 11 months old they're eating tons of food <laughs> it's no longer just breast milk that's sustaining them for their growth right yeah. now and so you know one thing that we love about where <clears> we <throat> live and i know it might be different for everybody if you're coming at us from a, a city across the uh, country um but we love to know where our food comes from and um here in Vermont that's really important like we've got a really good local community that supports um, each other in this kind of local food movement um, I grew my own garden and like had my mo most award-winning year I would give myself um, a medal for uh, last year when I, I, when when I, yourself a medal. When I was I just just not to toot my own horn but I would give my garden a medal <laughs> it was the year. best I've ever done I was like what is going on I grew a baby I grew a so garden. good at this God, great thumb 
Um, yeah, no, I definitely, uh, like, tried to focus on picking things that made stuff, you know, that I definitely knew were good choices yeah. when I first started feeding Avery. Yeah. The number one thing that they said, my pediatrician said, like, when you're introducing food, go with um, meat for the first time. Because oh. they're, like, deficient in iron. Interesting. And so try and give them meat to begin with. And so that was a great thing to be able to go. Vermont has a lot of local. awesome locally sourced meats. Yeah. Um, and so yeah. I was able to do that. Again... Nikki from Mama Ba and Annie, <laughs> and we're here in our Pumpcast giveaway. Let us know what you guys have said, uh, yeah. done, maybe what choices you made when it came to switching out products or feeding yeah. your baby for the first time, yeah. and you get entered into this awesome giveaway for. Well, that one still works. I um, really smother love <laughs> products that are nipple cream, diaper balm, all these great things that are organic, uh, yeah, and certified away, organic. Connect with us. Tell us what you did. What changes you made um, in order to kind of uh, help your body, help your baby, help the earth, and celebrate. Also, your birthday. going organic and like making all these healthy choices does not sow seeds for success. Because I gave you know Avery, I did That's a great point. Um, carrots and parsnips. And stuff and I would boil them and then puree them and then she would like spit them out and then I gave her a french fry yeah. and she was like yep I'm down with this food <laughs> so Every it's also like you different. can try like and you know if your kid is eating you know and it's not eating cardboard you're in good shape like yeah. feeding your baby yeah. making sure your baby gets food again as Nikki yeah. said like even if it's a conventional apple it's an apple yeah and so that's really good to be providing totally. you know nutrition to your child and totally. trying to make the best healthy choices but that does not mean your kid's gonna be on board there's a video of Avery yeah. and I've like painstakingly um, roasted all these carrots and pureed them for a really long time and I actually took breast milk and mixed yeah. it in rather yeah. than doing yeah. water yeah. in order to and then she just like rubbed it on her face and spit it out and cried at me yeah. I was like why are you making me eat so so Annie's <laughs> first Annie's first child is just like my first child and so I had the same challenges in terms of um, I really wanted to make her, make his food so badly and he wouldn't eat any of it he was like thanks mom but this is not pureed enough so I need that packet over there so no, thank you mom yeah, no, no thank you mom talking and <laughs> he said both of those things to me um and uh and um but with Addy I've been able to reduce waste because I'm like making all of my food and which is like more affordable and I'm putting it into containers that are glass and I'm like not like yeah. using those jars and packets and all of those things so that's good for mama earth and so um you know give it a try you know like give all of it a try and what works for you and what works for your baby is you guys do you but um this, these are some things that work for us and don't give up if it's your second child maybe um, I would say on the food thing in general just I've yeah. always said this to you like do not give up like like I, I stand on that mountain with like a flag and I'm like you will try that vegetable at dinner right or it's at least offer it right like they say like put it all on the plate and like let them choose what they like like maybe Avery's gonna only eat french fries <laughs> but you're still gonna put the carrots on there because she's gonna be like oh like in in a year and a half she's gonna be like oh mom yeah. and dad yeah. you're eating carrots so I guess I'll try this thing yeah. love carrots love that's carrots. what kids do no she does yeah she eats, <laughs> she loves broccoli yeah she loves asparagus she loves yeah. all that stuff she's yeah. a good eater now but there was a little bit of a hairy time period and that was where i was having to buy puree packets my right. self and that's right. another thing when it comes to making mm -hmm. baby food i would say don't go buy anything until you're like g give yourself two weeks because it would literally be that avery only wanted the purees and then suddenly wanted the food that I make and yeah. didn't want any of them and it was of course after I'd placed some sort of Amazon yeah. Prime order and then I yeah. have my like entire pantry full of bags yeah. and it's not used yeah. or I in a desperate moment when she wasn't really eating it wasn't the right puree I had a girlfriend who was like this baby maker will change your life and I had like almost put this stupidly expensive thing in yeah. my cart on Amazon and I was like don't do it don't wait do it. Wait I another know. like because so all babies do is change on you. True. Like Avery so didn't true. want to eat anything, and now she's eating everything. Yeah, yeah, they do. Um, all right, we've got our winner for the Mother Love Pumpcast. The Mother Love award. Of Giveaways Award. <laughs> award. Um, so we've got your nipple cream, your green salve, your diaper balm, and your baby and birth oil going to Brittany Alford. Brittany, thank you for joining us today, being a part of the conversation. We appreciate you. And so you're going to get some mother love from the Mama Ba Mother Love. And again, Annie and Nikki, we will see you guys in two weeks. Ta-ta for now. Thanks. Bye.